Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers, labor worldwide and sincerity. Salutations to the hopeful elect. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what shall I answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. sont pas vaccinés sont devenus des parias même pire ils perdent leur emploi ils perdent leur leur dignité on n'a plus, plus le droit au loisir plus le droit à la culture plus le droit à ça donc on divise les français c'est gravissime c'est du jamais vu Amsterdam, all right, uproars in France, okay, these things are set to come to pass, they were prophesied of, a, of, of an old time, the lady said they're trying to divide, well it's really your how about shower shower, matter of fact, real quick, we'll get back to the video, <clears throat> right, it's really the Lord, <laughs> putting uh, scourges on, on on the world for their wickedness, okay? And the Lord said this, Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth, see? I came not to send peace, but a sword. And what does a sword do? It divides, all right? The Lord has has put out a spirit of division, all right, uh, amongst these nations to bring forth his work, okay? Now, it said uh, in, in Amsterdam, uh, what, what's this other place, Slovakia? Let me see if I can get it. And, and, and what's the main thing they clash on with these so-called restrictions? All right, against that thing. Ceux qui ne sont pas vaccinés sont devenus des parias, même pire, ils perdent leur emploi. Ils perdent leur, leur dignité. Oh, it's three cuts. 
Masters. No Venice. Let's go to the next one. You can rep the cars really from at home, sitting in front of the TV. Our own. All right, this is in New York, right? More of these protests, more of these uproars, right? Unpaid leave, man. All right. I got one more thing. All right. This is Bolivia. Okay. More uproars. Bolivian police retreat after cocoa leaf farmers storm market in La Paz. Right. Let's see if we can get the video to play. Yes, there's no sound. All right. Well, ride police in La Paz, Bolivia, right? And this was when? Uh, October 4th, 2021, year of Haitian, the coming of Yahweh by Shawasha. Thousands of cocoa leaf growers seized the main market in Bolivia's capital, La Paz, on Monday after a week-long dispute over its control. Police used tear gas in an effort to stop them. Riot police fired, fired volleys of tear gas while protesters hurled stones and firecrackers and used large, <clears throat> large garbage containers to set up makeshift barricades, you see? Nothing but division all over the place for various reasons, okay? And it's the Lord of hosts. Again, let's read this in Matthew. Matthew chapter tw uh, 10 and verse 34. Think not that I've come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And we're witnessing that. The prophecies are playing out. It's popping like popcorn. And we are the spiritual forecasters, all right? Giving you uh, the skinny, <laughs> as it were, on, on what's to come. Why? Because the Lord has given us his word and we are to relay it to you, all right? Through the spirit and power, Yahweh, Shah. This is Isaiah 
chapter 62 and verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. See, and Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. It says, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And that's where we at. All right. We are declaring the words of the king. All right. Don't the scripture say where the words of a king is, there is power. That's why you're seeing these things play out. All right. The, the rapid collapse of this system. Okay. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass that I have told thee before, then, see, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. See? Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and we've witnessed that over the last two years, over the last three plus years, these uproars of people, the, these uh, earthquakes, all right? Now you got uh, volcanoes erupting, all right, all around the ring of fire because of these what? These earthquakes, man, what the Lord foretold, okay? It says, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, see? So that's what we're witnessing. The words of Yahweh shall shall playing out. It says, for like as all that is made in the world, have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. It's right before our eyes, all right? The Lord said, when you see these things, it says, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs, see? Endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. And that's where we at. All right. Prophecy is popping off the page <laughs> like popcorn. This is the book of Mark. Chapter 13. I'm going to start at verse 5. And Yehoshua answering them began to say, Take heed, lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying that I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, see? And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. Yeah, they just did a video the other day on these certain shortages, man. All right, it's going to cause sedition, famine trouble all right it's the things that the lord declared and decreed for all the wickedness that, that has uh, preceded the whole earth but take heed to yourselves for they shall deliver you up to councils and in the and in the synagogues and ye shall be beaten and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake for a testimony against them that this happened before all right, to the disciples who later became apostles. But well, these things are going to play out again, right? And the gospel, and the gospel must first be published among all nations, see? And, and, and the gospel is going forth. It's being published among all nations. 
That's why you got YouTube striking various brother pages here. That's why I'm on my backup page now. All right? Because the gospel is proceeding now. Okay? This is 2nd Ezra. Chapter 15. And let's start at verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yeah, woe to the world. All right? Because there's nothing but death and destruction prophesied, all right, for the world, for their wickedness, for the sword and their destruction draw of now. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. Yeah, man, it's going to escalate to the point where they're not going to be shooting tear gas and rubber bullets. No, it's going to be full go ammo, all right? For there should be sedition among men, right, invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, and that's what you witness, all right? Ain't they, those farmers <laughs> ran the police out of the market square, man, you see? It says a man, and this was going to lead to a man shall desire to go into a city, and shall not be able. Why? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. This is all things leading up to. All right? This prophecy is playing out beautifully. This is Matthew chapter 24. And... verse 32 it says now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and bring forth leaves ye know that summer is now so likewise when ye see these when ye see all these things know that it is near even at the doors that we near it's even at the doors all right stay prayed up all right stay stay reading <laughs> stay in the spirit man okay because things are going to come your way to try and throw you off your square as it were all right but keep trusting your how about shower shot that's going to be it for the lesson lord willing has been edifying i want to give all praise honor and glory to yahweh by hashem yahweh by Hashem Rakakwadash, Lord willing, coming at you with another lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.